capacitor of capacitance 2 microfarad is initially charged to a potential difference of 12 volt so first of all we can calculate the initial charge that will be present on 2 microfarad capacitor let name it as a and this is my second capacitor b so the charge on a initially will be q is equal to cv that is 2 into 10 to the power minus 6 into 12 volt so initial charge on capacitor QA is 24 into 10 to the power minus 6 coulombs now it is then connected to an uncharged capacitor of capacitance 4 microfarad CV given to me as 4 microfarad as shown in figure now we have to calculate the charge on each of the two capacitors after the connection now for that we will use the first concept that is the conservation of charge now obviously that it initially 24 into 10 to the power minus 6 coulomb of charge is available on A and it will be evenly distributed on A and B so charge on A plus charge on B will be equal to 24 into 10 to the power minus 6 coulomb that is nothing but conservation of charge and secondly that let's say we have this point and this point now let it name is as point 1 and point 2 now the potential difference across 1 and 2 will be same for 2 microfarad and 4 microfarad so with respect to point 1 and 2 I can say that the potential difference across 2 microfarad will be equal to potential difference across 4 microfarad so potential difference across A microfarad is equal to potential difference across B microfarad so Q is equal to CV V is equal to Q by C using the formula I can write V A as Q A by capacitance of A plus Q B by C B on substituting I get Q A divided by 2 is equal to Q B by 4 that gives me a relation QB as 2 times of QA now substituting this equation in this I get QA plus QB that is 2 times of QA is equal to 24 into 10 to the power minus 6 coulombs CQA is equal to 24 micro coulomb so QA comes out to be 8 micro coulomb and so QB that is 2 times of QA comes out to be 16 micro coulomb now second we have to calculate the electrostatic energy stored in each of the two capacitors so energy at A can be calculated by half of Q square by C substituting the values we have half charge on capacitor A is 8 micro coulomb so 8 square divided by capacitance that is 2 microfarad energy comes out to be 16 micro coulomb second the energy of B is calculated by the same formula Q square by C we have half charge is 16 micro coulomb square divided by its capacitance that is 4 microfarad so answer comes out to be 32 microjoules. This is joules. The third part, that is, we have to calculate the heat produced during the charge transfer from one capacitor to another. Now, for that, we'll use the conservation of the energy. That is, let's say the initial energy, initial energy of A, when it was not connected to any other capacitor, then it was having a charge of 24 into 10 to the power minus 6 coulomb. So I'll use the formula half of Q square by C to calculate the initial energy of capacitor A. That is half of 24 into 10 to the power minus 6 whole square divided by capacitance. That is 2 microfarad. And the answer comes out to be 144 microjoules. Now by the conservation of energy, I can write that initial minus E final will be the heat loss so initial that was 144 
minus e final that was 16 plus 32 that will be equal to heat loss so heat loss comes out to be 96 microjoules that is the answer